Hi, welcome to Learn English and Practice with Marie. Today, we're gonna to do Advanced Vocabulary Builder lesson number 43, where we'll go through 10 advanced words and talk about their definitions, parts of speech, and a couple of example sentences. We'll finish with a story so we can have a little extra practice. This is a series, so if you like this video, please subscribe. It would really help the channel out. Thanks so much, and let's hop in. First, listen to me read the words. Constrain, bellicose, accessible, scintillating, insincere, debunk, mawkish, insurgent, quixotic, palliate. First, constrain. This means to compel or force someone to follow a particular course of action, and it's a verb. This word is closely related to the word constraint, so it's the idea that you can't do everything you're trying to do. You're forced on a particular path, or forced to do a particular set of things. Examples are the strict rules and regulations constrain the employees from expressing their creativity in the workplace. The strict dress code and regulations constrained the students' individuality and self-expression. Bellicose. This means demonstrating aggression and willingness to fight. It's an adjective. So someone who's bellicose is aggressive, they're ready to get into a fight with someone else, or it could be used a little more loosely to refer to someone who's not literally wanting to throw punches, but rather wants to debate and have an argument. Examples are his bellicose behavior and aggressive attitude often led to conflicts with his colleagues. The bellicose statements from the rival leader escalated tensions between the two nations. Next, we have accessible. This means obtainable, reachable. It's an adjective. And you can use this in the context of disability accommodations. So to make a building accessible means that those in a wheelchair or those who have some sort of disability or impairment are still able to enter the building um, with ease. So examples here are the new building has been designed to be fully accessible to people with disabilities with ramps and elevators in place. The hotel ensures that all their facilities are accessible to guests with disabilities. Scintillating. This means sparkling or shining brightly. It's an adjective. So something scintillating is exciting. It's bright. It's like really gorgeous. I first learned this word in the context of the musical Chicago, where the two main characters are ready to do a dance and the word scintillating is used to describe them. They were sparkly, they were shining brightly, they had sequins, and they were real showstoppers. Examples are, the talented musician delivered a scintillating performance, leaving the audience in awe of his skills. The scintillating stars in the clear night sky created a magical and romantic atmosphere. Insincere. This means not expressing genuine feelings. It's an adjective. So if someone's being insincere, they don't mean what they're saying. So I would be concerned if someone gave me an apology, but I didn't believe that they meant what they were saying. They might say they're sorry, but if it's insincere, they didn't really mean it. Examples are her insincere compliments were easily detectable as her body language and tone didn't match her words. He tried to sound sincere in his apology, but his insincere tone gave him away. Debunk. This means to expose the falseness of something. It's a verb. So there's a show that's popular in the U.S. called Mythbusters, where the main point of the show is to debunk popular myths about things that seem implausible. Examples are the investigative journalist worked tirelessly to debunk the conspiracy theories circulating on the media. The professor presented evidence to debunk the popular belief that people only use 10% of their brain. Mockish. This means characterized by a sick sentimentality. It's an adjective. 
So this is the idea that it's very sweet, very sentimental, very emotional. I would consider movies on the Hallmark Channel to be very mawkish because they always end happy. Unless they've changed something in past years. I haven't watched those in a while. No offense, Hallmark. Examples are the movie's overly sentimental and mawkish ending left some viewers in tears, while others found it too cheesy. The book's mawkish depiction of characters' emotions felt unrealistic and melodramatic. Insurgent. This is one who rebels, as a noun, rising in active revolt, as an adjective. So uh, some insurgent behavior would be revolting behavior, and an insurgent is a person who is rebelling. That's the distinction. And you can think of the word insurgent in the context of war, in the context of rebellion. It definitely has those sort of conflict and military connotations. Examples are the country faced a series of challenges from insurgent groups that aimed to overthrow the government. The military launched a massive operation to root out the insurgent forces hiding in the jungle. Quixotic. This means idealistic, impractical. It's an adjective. So the word quixotic actually comes from the literary character Don Quixote, and the main idea of his character is that he was constantly trying to fight things that weren't there. He was very idealistic and motivated to do justice. He was a dreamer. Examples are his quixotic dreams of becoming a famous actor led him to move to Hollywood without any connections. Her quixotic pursuit of a lost treasure in the jungle captured the attention of adventurers worldwide. Next, we have polyate. This means to reduce the severity of. It's a verb. So to polyate something means to make it less severe, make it better, make it more palatable. All right, polyate related words. Examples are the doctor prescribed medication to palliate the patient's pain while they waited for surgery. The program was launched to palliate the impact of the economic crisis on vulnerable communities. Let's do a story where we can get a little extra practice. Captain Lily sat at the cockpit of her small airplane, ready for another adventure. Her quixotic dream of flying had led her to this moment and she couldn't wait to share the experience with her passengers. As they boarded, she greeted them warmly, making sure they felt welcome and at ease. Among the passengers, she noticed a bellicose man scowling as he boarded. She decided to palliate any potential tension and engaged him in conversation. As they chatted, she debunked some common misconceptions about flying, which seemed to pique his interest. Once in the air, Captain Lily pointed out the scintillating views below. The landscape was accessible through the large windows, and she encouraged her passengers to enjoy the beauty of the world from above. They were in awe of the breathtaking scenery. During the flight, she overheard an insincere conversation between two passengers, but she chose to focus on the positive aspects of the journey. She wanted to create a mawkish and memorable experience for everyone on board. However, little did they know that they were flying over a region where insurgents had caused chaos. The situation required Captain Lily to quickly navigate and adjust the flight path to ensure everyone's safety. Despite the challenges, Captain Lily's passion for flying shone through. She knew how to constrain any turbulence and create a smooth flight for her passengers. By the time they landed, even the bellicose man had a smile on his face, thanking Captain Lily for the incredible journey. So let's read through the words one last time. Constrain, bellicose, accessible, scintillating, insincere, debunk, mawkish, insurgent, quixotic, polyate. Great job today. There are other videos just like this on this channel, and I'll put playlists and videos right down here. 
feel free to ask me questions in the comments below and I'd love it if you could subscribe for more. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!